how to install and run Windows applications on Mac OS. In today's video guide, I am going to show you how to install Windows applications and run them on your Mac OS system directly as if you were running them natively on Windows. This allows for a huge amount more applications for you to be able to run on your Mac OS system. Virtually any Windows application will be able to run um, through this technique which I'm going to show you in this, in this tutorial video. So you can see here I've got VLC Media Player open as an example. I've got the Windows version open below and the Mac OS version open above. And the Windows version is running perfectly as if it was running natively on a Windows computer. So in this guide, you're going to have to follow some complicated commands using the terminal system in the Apple operating system. As long as you follow along with this guide, you will have no issues making your Windows applications run. There are also some additional tips and tricks and revisions from the guide that we, we will be following to ensure that you can run these applications on your computer after several updates. The first step of this guide is to make sure that you don't have the software that we're going to be using already installed. So to check this, you can navigate to the terminal application and type in brew space doctor. If you get the response back saying your system is ready to brew, you already have the software installed and you can skip the next few steps. If you get a command error, which you most likely will, you do not have the software installed and you need to follow these steps to install the software. Go ahead and navigate to your web browser and go to this link, which is in the description below. This web page has the terminal commands um, contained in it, which we will be using for this tutorial. Once you have gone to that web page, you can go ahead and copy this command here. So this command is going to allow us to install the homebrew system on our Mac OS terminal, which is going to allow us to then install Wineskin through homebrew, which is the system that will let us run these Windows applications on Mac OS. So this is a step that you cannot skip. If you skip this step, this software will not work and you will just get an error. If you don't know how to navigate the terminal, you can go to Launchpad, Other, and then a terminal application is there. Go ahead and paste that command in. I will not be pasting it in as I have already uh, installed the software, but once you press Enter, you will be given some command lines and there will be a text progress bar. Once you've installed, once that has completed um, installing, go ahead and copy this command here. Now where it has dollar sign capital user, you need to change this to your computer's user account name. This is a very important step and the command will fail if you don't do this. To check what your name is, go to system preferences, users and groups, and your name is shown there. Substitute the dollar sign user value with your name. Once you have done that, go ahead and copy this command to finish the install and paste it into terminal. Once that command has completed, Homebrew is now installed on your computer and we can go ahead and finally install the Wineskin software through terminal. Go ahead and copy this command and paste it into your terminal system. This will install the Wineskin app onto our computer, which you will then find in the applications folder under the name winery.app. Or alternatively, you can launch it via Spotlight. I already have the application installed, so you can see it shown here in my applications folder. Go ahead and open the app once it has installed. And now we're going to want to install the, uh, the latest engine. Where it says installed engines, it will be blank on your screen. Where it says new engines available, go ahead and press the plus icon. 
From here, open the drop down menu and select the latest engine. This is a very important step. Make sure you select the latest engine and then select download and install. Depending on your internet connection, it may take some time to install. Once the engine is installed, you will be presented back to the screen. Go ahead and select create new blank wrapper. You can ignore any new engine prompts. You can name your wrapper anything you would like. It's best to name it after the application you are planning to install. I'm planning on installing Steam, so I'm going to call it Steam Windows. You can go ahead and press OK. This is going to create the custom wrapper on your computer. This may take some time and your computer may appear to freeze during this step. This is a normal process and just wait for the system to finish. I have not sped up this video for the purpose of this demonstration so you can get an idea of how long it will take through this video. Once the installation is complete, you will be shown the file path to the application. Go ahead and press View Wrapper in Finder. If you do not press this, go ahead and follow the file path. You will, be na you will now be shown the wrapper in Finder. Do not open the wrapper directly as it will not work. The next step is to download the, the .exe installer file of the Windows application you want. I want to download the Windows version of Steam, so I'm going to go to the Steam download website and select the Windows version of the Steam app, and it will go ahead and download a .exe file. You can then close your web browser and right click on the applications um, icon. If you're on a trackpad, you can press control and do a regular click, and this is the same as a right click. Once you have done that, press the show package contents button. This will show the hidden folder. Go ahead and open the wineskin application inside this folder. Next, select install software and choose setup executable. Once this opens, it will show you a finder window. Navigate to your downloads folder and select the .exe file that we just downloaded from the internet. Once you have selected that, Wineskin is going to start installing your Windows version of the application on Mac OS, and it will go ahead and open Installer from the Windows side. This will be different for whatever application you install, but go ahead and follow the steps to install the software. Do not change the file path as shown here. Always leave it on default, otherwise you may encounter some issues which will be hard to diagnose. So go ahead and let the installer finish. Steam, in my case, is doing some updates, so we will give that some time to finish.
once your installed application opens you can go ahead and close it and the following steps are extremely important to ensuring that your application will run properly every time so make sure you follow these steps once you've closed your application go back to your applications folder and launch it again you will be shown this prompt saying wineskin doesn't know what file to open you need to select the drop down menu and choose the start command or start application for your app in this case it is steam.exe this will be different for your application but you should be able to find it with some common sense go ahead and press ok and then the application will start once you have completed this you will be able to use your application as normal and it will start every time without you having to do that little command we just did there now remember with these wineskin applications you do not get the bouncing animation while the app is loading on the dock but it is loading in the background so just press the application icon and then give it some time to load Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below.